Hello everyone. I am not going to sit here and pretend like I know everything about the spiritual, but I know some things. Some things of the Bible, I believe some principles of the Bible repeats itself over and over again. Before I get to my point, let me go to some scriptures, a couple of scriptures, I guess. Let's go to Mark chapter 11, verses 23 through 24. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart. I believe that is one of the key statements there. But shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Verse 24, Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. You may be praying for something right now. What you may be praying for, it may seem impossible to do. It may seem it is not going to happen your way. You may compare your situation with others. You may think to others, well, the majority of people that were in a situation as me, things did not go their way. It did not turn out in the right way. So you may think inside of your mind, since things did not go the way in a good way with other people, more than likely, the same is true about me. Because what I am praying for, if I can say this, goes against the grain. Like it usually, in a situation like this, it usually turns out to be negative. A thought may come to your mind, what makes you different than so many others? What makes you special than so many others? If things went wrongly for so many others, why do you believe things can go the other way when I guess there is a trend of things going wrong when you are in this particular situation? Are you understanding what I am saying to you? Let's go back to verse 24. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Okay. So what am I going to believe? Am I going to believe what I see or what the Bible says? Yes. For an example, 80 of 100 people, yes, things went wrong for them. But it doesn't have to turn out wrongly for me. I am a servant of God. So that means I have benefits. There are benefits when you live for Jesus Christ. I have the Bible. And I can read the Bible. 
And what it is telling me, basically in so many words, if I live for Jesus Christ, if I have faith in what I am praying to God for, what I have to do is believe that I received them and I shall have them. Uncle Calf, how can you believe you have something when you don't have it? It is spiritual. How can I use my natural mind when it comes down to the spiritual? Think of hell. Think of heaven. How can the natural mind comprehend heaven? Hell, demons, God, eternal life, so on and so on. So since I can't really use, to a point, my natural mind to, under thing, to understand things of the spiritual, basically my mind needs to be renewed. I have to change my mind from the way it is to what the Bible says. If you are living for Jesus Christ, if you have faith, and God, faith in what you are believing for, and believing that you have it, even though you don't have it exactly right now, why wouldn't you receive what you are praying for? I am not saying to pray for things against the Bible. I am not saying to pray out of greed or pray out of lust and stuff like that. No, pray for things that are acceptable, things that are not sinful. You may say to me, Uncle Kev, I understand what you are saying, but I told my mother, I told my father, I told my best friend, I told my church friend, I told my co-worker, I told my auntie, I told my uh, cousin um, what I am praying for and what they told me, they told me that I am wasting my time. They told me that it is not going to work. They told me that uh, for your case, many others failed, so why even take time to pray about it why even take time to even think about it just uh give up and quit just turn your back on what i am praying for okay who cares what they say are they god who cares what they are saying because the bible tells me I believe we both can read. Maybe not. Therefore, I say unto you, what thing soever ye desire, when ye pray, hello, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. So I am looking at the Bible. So who cares what your mom said? Who cares what your dad said? Who cares what your uh, uncle and uh, aunt and uh, what is that word some people say for grandma? I can't really think of it. Who cares what they say? care about what the Bible is saying. Let's go to John chapter 15, verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. 
There are benefits when you live for Jesus Christ. You may say, Uncle Kev, I have been trying to live for Jesus Christ and I continue to sin. I continue to do this. I continue to do that. Listen, try to pray more. Try to read the Bible more. Try to fast. Try to do what is right and don't stop. You may fail, but keep on trying. I believe if we stay like that, we can become better and better. It may take time, but I believe the key thing is to not give up. When you live for Jesus Christ, I can ask for things. See, one of the reasons I like living for Jesus Christ because I don't have to know everything. I don't have to be very strong. I don't need a connection over here and a connection over there. You know, I think what some people do, like they try to gather so many connections with people so they can, I guess, get some things easier or whatever. I don't need connections per se. Who I need a connection with is God. When you live for Jesus Christ, you can ask him for things. I am not saying you should ask out of greed. You know, God, my neighbor has, uh, I don't know too much about cars, but my neighbor has the new BMW. I want something more expensive than that car so I can show that person who is better. Do not do that. Anyways, to get back to my point, if you are in a situation right now, and let's say it is really bad, and you want to escape it or should i say probably i should say you want things to be better pray to god about it god uh this situation i am in now it is really bad person a is lying on me person b is trying to get me fired person c is trying to uh drag me through the dirt so i believe i have faith that things are better now right now yes Person A, B, and C is doing stuff, but I am believing everything is done right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything is better. Everything is calm. Everything is peaceful. I will not get fired. I will not be uh, blah, 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 blah. There are, are other things you can say as well. Let me give you a basic list here. Live for Jesus Christ. Have faith in Jesus Christ. And, not and, what you are praying for. While you are praying, believe you have already received what you are praying for. And don't doubt. I really hope this makes sense. Living for Jesus Christ, don't get me wrong, it is difficult, but it is less difficult than living in sin. And I believe I am a witness to that. Let me stop here. May God bless us.